all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i am going to talk about attention unit which is the variant of unit for targeting the uh, targeting and detecting the small objects in the images and uh, many research paper has shown that attention unit has more accuracy than a uh, unit so i'll show you how to implement uh, the attention unit structure in this video line by line so stay tuned and watch this video till the end let's get start all right so as i said before it's the variant of unit which highlight the relevant activations during training and also it helped to reduce the computational resource wasted on the irrelevant irrelevant activities so but of course it's more heavier than the uh, actual unit because uh, in the attention unit we uh, try to get the weight of each layers and then multiply those weights uh, by the actual uh, pixel value so i'll i'll talk about that in, uh, in later in the video so the thing is actually there are uh, two type of attentions so hard attention and then the soft attention and uh, in the hard attention actually we highlight the uh, relevant object by cropping it and then removing all the other uh, areas and uh, during that hard attention the back propagation can't be used that's why it's not much uh, useful in the uh, object detection tasks but in soft attention we uh, weight the different part of image based on the like uh, the object uh, area so if the object is available on the top right corner then uh, we only like uh, focus on that top right corner and then those area has the higher weight in the image relevant to other area and uh, the relevant part of the image get larger weight and less relevant part get smaller weight so that's the same thing what i said before and uh, actually uh, there are like few different between unit and attention unit so the thing is like in the unit actual unit so we have some kind of like image style uh, in this example we have 572 by 572 image style and then we apply some convolution uh, layers with filter like uh, for example in this example we have 64 filters and then we have 128 and then it's uh, always like increase multiply by two and uh, here uh, i think it's little bit hard to see for you but uh, sorry for the small uh, small levels but uh, yeah as we see this so the actual size of image which is 572 it decreases uh, to 284 and 140 and 68 66 and 32 and that's how it like get denser and denser uh, but when we have the up convolution neural network uh, then uh, we we have like we apply the uh, transpose of convolution and then we uh, like uplift the up sample the uh, our image and then these areas were connected by the skip connection we call this and uh, this skip connection helped to like bring uh, the actual like actual shape of the object uh, from first image to the other image uh, i mean the relevant uh, parallel pair but in this process there is a one issue uh, actually while training the model so in during our first phase i mean the first few convolution layer we don't have that much information and then skip connection is that not that much relevant right when we get deeper and deeper then our neural network learn more and um, we need to like focus on that particular target so that's why we, we the basic idea is we need to like give the more weight to the lower convolution layers i mean the skip connections and then in the upper part 
we need to get the lower weight. In the attention unit actually try to tackle those problem and here the thing is like it's also the like same as unit but this time we have like the input images and then the first this uh, down sampling layer are like same but uh, in the up sampling actually we have like uh, the attention gate and then the getting signal and these two are the like these two are something similar to like the uh, weight so this uh, attention gate help to like multiply our computed weight to the uh, corresponding relevant uh, convolution layer and I'll discuss this on a minute uh, so let me go to the other slide so the basic idea of this implementation is like uh, uh, we have like getting signal and then the, we have this convolution layer and we merge those layers uh, and then apply the ReLU activation and after that uh, we get the weights and then we apply the sigmoid uh, uh, function to get all the weight between 0 and 1 and then we resample it to the uh, actual shape of our uh, layer uh, and after that we again multiply it element wise here in the getting signal we have uh, 64 by 64 by 64 uh, features and in the actual product which is coming from convolution layer we have 128 by 128 by 128 uh, channels and uh, in the getting signal we apply the one by one is tried equal to one by one and number of filter equal to 128 so that we change this matrix to 64 by 64 by 128 while uh, in the actual image we apply the stride equal to 2 by 2 which help to reduce the size of 128 by 64 then we have the same shape and after that we uh, just like merge those and then apply the ReLU activation and uh, the ReLU activation is nothing uh, than the like if the value is lower than uh, some threshold then it get zero otherwise it has like a linear increment and um, after that we multiply that matrix by the uh, number of filter equal to one so that's how we get the 64 by 64 by 1 which is the like if our image is 64 by 64 pixels then we have weight of all the images all the pixels and after that the weights can be like more than one so this uh, with the help of like sigmoid function we try to like normalize our weight between 0 and 1 and after that we do the op sampling and uh, after that we simply merge that uh, actual image I mean multiply our actual image with the weight coming from this uh, correction and we get the like uh, actual layer and after that we get the normal unit flow and uh, that's the like actual part of attention unit If you are wondering like how to uh, how to like uh, write this uh, attention gating signal so uh, I'm here to help so attention getting block and after that you can simply apply this function uh, to any of your attention unit channel and later I'll show you how to like merge this attention getting block uh, into your unit so here uh, first of all we need to get the shape of v x and then shape of g which is k uh, we need to import uh, from keras import backend is k and after that k dot int shape which is int shape means uh, it will try to by default it will give us the uh, tensor uh, and but if we write k i n t shape x then it will provide something like uh, 
255, 255,3 or something, whatever the shape of X is. And then shape G equal to K dot INT shape G. And that's how we convert those tensor shape into the actual uh, shape of the NumPy array. As I showed you before, so the normally the shape of G is uh, smaller, uh, 0 0.5 times smaller than the X. So that's why, for example, if the shape is like uh, uh, 128, then our G will be 64. Yeah. And after that, we need to, uh, we need to calculate the theta and phi. And the theta will be our, uh, this one, this channel which is we need to apply the stride equal to two by two and then uh, padding equal to same. And the uh, name of this variable will be XL comma and whatever name you provide. And then uh, it should be not the 16, it should be the uh, 64 channel. And similarly for the 5G, which is a uh, getting signal and it's convolution layer and integer shape and as i said here so it's one by one and stride equal to one by one and filter equal to 128 and uh that's why how we get g and then we need to like up sample it so that uh, i'm applying convolution to the task pose which is the exactly opposite of conv 2d and if you are confused you can search on the uh, like view the actual documentation uh, here I'm applying like the actual shape of that uh, our X value and a three by three channel and stride will be the uh, we need like the integer if the like shape of X and G are not same that's why uh, we are just taking stride uh, like the either one comma one or uh, 2 comma 2 to match the size of like uh, the off sample G with the X and that's why I'm I have also the padding same and then don't worry about this name variable which is uh, nothing but uh, when you summarize your model then uh, it will give the corresponding name and then we apply that to the phi G now I need to like concat those two uh, metrics into the one and then apply the ReLU activation. So for that, I also try to like import this line of code, uh, the layers, all the layers, optimizer and models into, uh, I, I just into the cell. So I just import it. And after that, we need to like concat those with the add function, uh, which is from keras.layer layers and then uh, we concat those uh, up sampling g and then theta g x and then we apply the ReLU activation function uh. now the other step is to like uh, apply another convolution layer uh, and after that we need to apply the sigmoid uh, function to change those variable into zero and one uh, make sure uh, in the other uh, and the convolution layer, we need to apply the filter number of filter equal to one. So that's why I'm writing this. So the convolution layer with the uh, kernel size of one by one and padding of, I mean, the stride of one by one. And after that, I apply the sigmoid activation function. And the end the thing now is we need to like, uh, now up sample our layers to the 128 by 128 that means we need to like uh, just simply up sample it by multiplication of 2 so multiply by 2 that's why I'm uh, like first of all I get the signal uh, I mean the shape of sigmoid function with the k i and t shape and after that I up sample that uh, with the help of up sampling 2d and of course, uh, this time also size will be like shape of VX or divide by the shape of sigmoid. Uh, I think which will be the one and one. Uh, 
after that the next step is to like multiply element wise uh, with the uh, actual layer versus our reacts so in order to do that so i wrote this code so it, it will simply multiply two layers of sampling psi which is the result layer and the input x and so that's how we like multiply the actual weight of each pixel with the our convolution layer and then our result will be the convolution 2d layer and uh padding same is tried one by one and uh this layer is totally optional so whether you need uh, batch normalization or not so you can for me i just applied batch normalization after each like convolution layers uh, below in the unit attention unit that's why i'm adding this line and then simply re return the result uh, layer we can now run this function and for the uh, another set of code i simply copy and paste the code and then describe uh, uh, for the like unit getting signal which is the first input layer uh, the g value so we have uh, we, we we should like get the shape and then get the x value which is the uh, shape of three which is the channel one and then uh it one by one and padding is same and if the batch norm is uh, true then we apply the batch normalization otherwise we simply ignore it and then we apply the activation function relu activation function uh, and that's all and then it will return the x and this x is used as the uh, first value of the g and uh, in the attention unit actually so i wrote this function so here uh, we have learning rate loss function and pre-trained weight whether uh, it has pre-trained weight or not and then the input size by default i wrote to 256 256 by 3 but it's up to you uh, you can change it later as well and uh, here uh, in the input we have input and this is the like actual uh, convention of the unit so we have con convolution layer unit com 2d sorry i need to uh, like copy and paste that function too all right so this is the unit con 2d function so in the con 2d function so we are just applying the convolution 2d uh, with the uh, kernel size of 3 by 3 and stride of 1 by 1 and here if the batch norm is true then we apply the batch normalization and after that do the relu activation and similarly we do this repeat the same process again here as well so this is the actual convention of unit con 2d so if you see it here so we have two convolution layer uh, together and then we just uh, two or three convolution layer together and then we down sample it to the uh in their uh in their structure in their uh, like size that's why i'm doing the uh, two convolution layers within count 2d function and similarly in the attention unit so now it's more cleaner and uh, we first uh, we have the input matrix and then we apply the convolution layer and then the max pooling layer uh, which help to like decrease the size of our uh, actual matrix for example if it's uh, 64 by 64 image then it help to decrease the size by uh, 0 0.5 which is 20 uh, sorry uh 32 by 32 yeah so similarly here we have like uh again apply unit con 2d and then uh again apply the max pooling and make it denser and then con 3 unit con 2d and then it's up to you whether you apply dropout function or not because uh, the dropout function will help you to like train your model more, more convenient way and then it um, it like help to reduce the chance of like overfitting the model and it randomly drop out the 0 0.1 uh, number of like number of like uh, images or the uh, data from the uh, unit 
and again apply the max pooling layer and uh, here you can clearly see that I comment out some of the drop out function but it's up to you whether you want these or not and then the other thing is like the number of filters so as I explained in the figure as well so it's 64 and then we have 128 and it's increasing to 256 and 512 and this is the center layer and after that we have the expansion path and as I said uh, before so the G1 will be the unit getting signal and unit getting signal we have uh, like uh, this parameter and then we have attention one and then con convolution block and then we simply up sample it to by like concatenating uh, con convolution layer and then the attention uh, getting block and similarly we do the same step but make sure uh, the first size is matching with the center layer and after that we start decreasing the number of filters and uh, here 128 and 128 and then 64 64 and that's how we wrote and then at the end we have like the uh, in the convolution layer we have sigmoid activation function and after that we have this modal object with input and content as the output and then it's up to you uh, how you want to like compile this model for me i compile it with the adam optimizer with the learning rate uh, by default i try to give it 0 0.001 and then it's up to you whether you need loss function or not and for the matrix actually so it's up to you whether you need any custom matrix or just the accuracy and if the pre-trained weight is true then you load the model otherwise return the model and that's how you wrote the model and now if you want to like apply this model to any of your uh, like object segmentation tags you just need to call this function with the uh, normal learning rate and then the loss function and in most of the case uh you have like binary cross tropy cross entropy loss function if your uh, object is like binary segmentation task or uh, if you have like any other uh, like uh, functions or multi-class uh, multi-class segmentation then you can try uh, categorical cross tropy function and yeah so that's all so the for example so if you want to like uh, get the model and if you you can run this function and then call uh, by like model equal to attention unit and then learning rate equal to 0 0.01 and then loss function is cross entropy and uh, okay so I forgot to run this cell that's why it's giving me error okay now it should work fine all right so it runs successfully and then if you summary if you try to get the summary of modal uh, then you will get something like that and yeah so you can clearly see that so the actual shape of our image is 256 256 by 3 and we apply the uh, first uh, convolution layer with the 64 uh, filters and now our like size of the image is decreasing and but the number of filters is increasing and it went up to like 4 by 4 by 512 and then now it start increasing and it start increasing and then it matches the like final shape is 256 256 by 1 and we have around uh i think 12 million uh total parameters trainable parameters so yeah so that's how you write the like uh attention unit but if you want the like uh, the less number of convolution layer then maybe you can remove this uh, 
512 channel and then make the 256 as your center layer and then try to like adjust this g4 of 4 and g5 of 5 function as well i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching